Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a fun little tip for you. And that is how do you measure curve lengths in Blender using geometry nodes. So you can see over here, we're gonna set up this little example. Where we can take any curve and we can add this little system here. So when we extrude or move the curve, we can see in real time, this little number here showing us the exact same the exact length of the curve. And we can also mess around with the decimal. So we can have it with no decimals if we want a very rough kind of interpretation, but or we can come here to the decimals and bump it up. And then we can get very precise. And you can take that decimals up as high as you want into like really, really high values if you wanna be really precise. So if you wanna learn how to do this in geometry nodes, it's gonna be very handy in certain situations. I'll quickly show you how to do it in this Blender quick tip video. So let's go ahead and select the default objects. Let's just quickly press delete and we're gonna go shift A. We're gonna go over to our curves and let's add in just a Bezier curve. And let's say we wanna know what the exact length of this is. So let's go over into our geometry nose workspace here. And with this curve selected, let's go ahead and click new. And let's just call it measure um, curve. So measure curve and hit enter. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our geometry output here for the curve, and we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to Search, and you're just gonna type in here, Curve, and then Length. And then you're gonna go here to Curve Length. Let's place it over here. Let's take this geometry output and plug it into the Curve Length input. And then we're gonna go Shift A, Search, and we're gonna go up here, and let's just search, and we're gonna type in Value, and we're gonna go Value 2, and then string. So if you say here value to string, just click on it, put it over here. And we're gonna take this length and plug it into the value. And then we're gonna go shift A, click on search, and we're gonna go string two, and we're gonna go string to curves and place it over here. And then let's just take this string here and put it into the strings. And then let's take the curve instances and plug it into the geometry output. And now we've got a number here and it's saying two because it is two meters. So how do we see that in conjunction with the curve? We can simply go over here, shift A, search, and let's get a join and get a join geometry. And let's take this geometry output and just plug it in here and then plug this join output into the group input here and then take the curve instances and join it together. So now we can see the curve and our number. If you wanted to, you could simply just come over here next to the string to curves, go shift A, search and get a transform and get a transform geometry, place it on here. And that way we can take the translate here and we can move the two. So I might move it over like so. And now let's have fun with this. Let's go into our top of graphic view and let's tab into edit mode and let's grab this and let's go G to move it. And you can see here, it just kind of does this in integers. So what we can do is we can come over here to the string to curve and we can take the, or not the string to curve, the value to string, we can take the decimals and bump it up. So let's go two decimals. So now we can have more detail, more precision. So if we go and move this, we can see it's going, you know, 2.06, 2.21, so on. And you can bump up the decimal place even more for if you want finer precision. So let's try and just move this over here. Let's grab this one, let's rotate it to straighten it out. And now we've got four meters over here. So that is how you can measure curve lengths in geometry nodes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.